in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask the person working there if the holder of the five phases is present. If he should turn and stare intently at you for several minutes, you know you are in the right place. If not, turn, run, flee as if your life depends upon it, which of course it does. Do not stop, as your torture will be more painful, more horrible, more absolutely terrifying than anything you have ever imagined. If, however, he does turn and stare at you, look directly into his eyes, which should be shifting colors. In his eyes you will see endless horrors, your friends being murdered, the people you love being viciously torn apart before your very eyes. Do not look away, for to do so is to become lost in the world of hell you see before you, and to consign your friends and loved ones to the pain and suffering more terrible than your vision. If you do not look away, he should nod slightly, then turn around again and reach into a drawer. He will pull out a book, a jar, and a key, all of which he will hand to you without saying a word. Turn around, saying nothing, and walk into the building. You do not need to ask directions. You will know automatically where to go and do not stop until you get there. When you reach the door, you will notice the intricate, beautiful design, inscribed with golden characters that seem vaguely Chinese, but not quite. Insert the key into the lock and turn it counterclockwise. You will hear a click, and then you should turn the knob. If it is locked, Quickly turn the key back to its original position and pray to whichever god you worship that no one heard you, as someone is already inside, and you may just have assigned yourself and them to a fate worse than death. If the door should open, walk inside, taking the key with you. The room will be as beautifully designed as the door. Sit on the bed placing the jar on the bed in front of you. Take the key and unlock the cover of the book. Now would be a time to get comfortable, as the instructions inside this book is more important than anything you have ever read before in your life. The instructions are different for every seeker, but the general gist format is this. Take from your pocket the five golden rings you received from the holder of the five rings. On the inside of each should be inscribed a character of a language unlike any you have ever seen. Open the jar on the bed, and you should hear a whispering in your ears, speaking of horrible and disgusting events. Pay no heed to their horrid games, for to do so is to become one of them, and to feed on the depravity of those who share your goal. Place each ring inside one by one in an order detailed by the book. Memorize the order, for once you open the jar you cannot look away, no matter what, for the demons will take you as their slave for all of time. Do not. I repeat, do not touch the liquid inside the jar, as it will slowly eat away your body, leaving your soul suspended there for all of time. Do not put them in in the wrong order, for the jar will explode. If you do so, pray that it kills you instantly, for that is the easy way out. Every time you put a ring inside the jar, the liquid will slowly begin to transform the rings. Each one is a different color once transformed, 
and appears to be made out of a different material. A ring which seems to be made of metal, whiter and brighter than any polished silver or white gold ring. A ring which appears to be made out of earth or mud, colored a deep golden yellow. A ring of deepest black, which seems to be moving and swirling as if made of liquid. A ring of a mossy forest green color, which looks as if it is carved from wood. And a ring which seems to burn with a painfully bright crimson color. Once all five rings have been transformed, the voices should die down and eventually disappear. Then, and only then, should you remove the rings from the jar. Place them on your left hand, one by one, in the order of which you place them in the jar, from your thumb towards your little finger. Clench your fist, close your eyes, and whisper, How can they be controlled? And then, in order of your rings, you should see five visions in your mind. A giant dragon whose scales shine the color of sapphires, a white-furred tiger of massive proportions, an immense tortoise whose shell is black as the night, a kilin, Chinese animal, who shines the color of gold, and a vibrant, magnificent bird whose feather seems to ripple with heat. These animals will all begin to speak at the same time, of dark times, of darker times, of events which are yet to happen and those which already have, all of which are beyond terrible. They speak now of people who use the objects for evil. Some people have gone mad right there, but if your will is strong and your heart is steadfast, you will be safe. Once they have finished speaking, they will disappear, and you will awake outside of the mental institution or halfway house you are inside, the rings still safe on your hand. The rings will give you the power to control the ancient Chinese elements of earth, wood, fire, metal, and water, however, with each use, the powers become harder to control until they consume you entirely. You have been warned. These transformed rings are Object 379 or 538. Learn to control them and learn to control yourself.